What are you doing, Miss Rooster? They don't come out and see you no more? Yeah, you was crying earlier because Waldo and Lily don't come visit you. She's sad. You got stuck to your leg. Leaves. He didn't like that. Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're seeing this. Welcome to Dogman Homestead. My name is Mike. We are out on the build. I'm doing a deck, a screen patio, and just let the dogs into the dog apartment. Clearly it's unfinished. I've ordered insulation. Don't know when that'll be here sometime next week. Uh, yeah, all those loving his new bed, ain't you, boy? Yeah, they like it. Yeah, Rooster was out there a little bit ago. She was crying because she's used to mingling with them in the mornings and they're not out there now. So we'll have to figure that out. But anyway, today I'm going to focus on cleanup. Uh, once I get that done, I may start on an awning in the front and frame out a door for the screen patio. I don't know. We'll see where we get. Uh, I got a 10 by 10 canopy that I'm going to set up so I can work under the shade while I'm doing the screen. I ain't gonna get to the screen probably for a day or two. Uh, I need to get some paint and paint the outside. I'll leave the back open. I won't paint it so we can dry more, but I've gotta get that those poles painted before I can put on the uh, screen tight system. Uh, just gonna make it easier for me rather than try to mask all that off because the tracks that the screen goes in is white and it's gonna pop when it's against that black so it'll look good so today I'm going to focus on cleanup I'm pretty darn sore from weed eating all day yesterday um, you know I, it feels like somebody bopped me in the ribs but I'll be all right so the screen patio area I've got to get everything out of there get it cleaned up and uh, get it organized my PEX is in I need to run PEX I need to run electric electrical wire uh, the very last thing I'm probably going to do is put the door in from the cabin out to here simply because I want the screen up. I don't want all the bugs flying in when I've got a big hole cut in the house. Uh, so we're going to wait on that to probably one of the last things I do. Um, it's not so bad to walk around. I could use the exercise. So I'm going to get started cleaning this room up. It's a it's a mess in there. I've got pieces of lumber I've got to get out of there. I've got to pull that saw out of there. Another reason I want to set the canopy up so I can have an outside workstation. Uh, just going to make it easier to move around and get things done. All right, guys, just want to do a quick garden update. I just got done watering. There's my collard greens, boy. They're looking good, nice firm leaves. Got me a hot pepper there. Look at there, an ice cold water. I'm gonna harvest that now, because I'm thirsty. Let me get a drink. And the tomatoes are just abundant. They are going nuts. That stuff doesn't grow real fast. I think that's rosemary. Uh, there's another bell pepper. That is the spicy Mexibel. Uh, we've had some wind come through, I don't know, a week ago, and a lot of these are leaning. I need to probably get a stake and stake that up. There's the leeks. Don't remember what those are called. One of them's leeks. Uh, parsley, eggplants, still hanging in there, but ugly as hell. And uh, I just went through and kind of clipped off the dead leaves of the tomato plants. It's important to get them off. There's still a few, but... As you can see, everything is thriving. And uh, a few days ago, I put in some Miracle Grow granules. They seem to be helping. Marigolds. And we got yeah more eggplant. I don't remember what these are. I think that's sage. Yep, that's sage. Basil in the middle. Another garden sage. And I just love this pineapple sage. I'm going to plant some of that next year in front of the house. It, I mean, it looks like a shrub. It smells good. Ah, over here we got more tomatoes. Let me just go down the row of tomatoes and then I'll come back. Uh, I think that's a beef steak. Probably another beef steak. And this is the Black Prince. It's doing well. 
and we need to get some 70 degree temperatures that's when tomatoes ripen they won't ripen when it's hot so you either need to cut them green take them off green and bring them in the house or you know they usually ripen overnight if it hits down in the 70s and i don't think we've got there and some of them are doing better than others these are the arkansas travelers you can see some of them are bigger a lot of good looking tomatoes coming out. That one looks like it's trying to ripen. It's not real big. Arkansas Traveler. This one's gotten pretty big. And I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it's probably a beef steak. Very healthy. Very green. My cukes. Look at that right in there. Got a cucumber. I'd already pulled four or five off. They're very tasty. I've got it training them to go up. But they're doing very well. Never had luck with cucumbers till this year. And the ugly potatoes. And we got jalapenos. Uh, they're, they're struggling, but they're doing it. And uh, more sage. And garden sage, yeah. I don't know why I planted so much sage. And we've got some cayenne peppers coming in. Where did I see those? Yep, yeah, yeah, there they come, right there. Tomatillos, don't see any thing on them yet, but there will be. And that is a Palano Ancho. Curious to see what those taste like. And the Solano peppers. Doing very well. And let's see, let's go over here. We got one cucumber and the squash the squash is pretty slow to grow uh i don't have it planted in much this is one of them things i had leftovers uh seed seedlings to plant and i just stuck them in there to see what would happen and this is okra it's doing very well got a blossom there coming out and again more no nope, that's basil doing very well and uh think of the name my mind went blank but look at these marigolds man they're just taking over uh, tomatoes those are the pasty tomatoes i forget the name of them man why, why did my mind go blank on them more marigolds i've been seeing a lot of bees coming out and there's more of those tomatoes why can't i think of it look at these colors Marigolds in there. They are thriving with those marigolds. Lots of tomatoes. And this is what I'm most proud of. These are my bell peppers. I see stuffed peppers in the future. These, look how dark green. Man, they're just doing well. And I planted three to a pot. And so I will continue to do that. Lots of peppers there, guys. And yes, the fire ants are still there. Watch this. Boom. They're sleeping. They're moved out. Anyway, that's a quick garden update. Uh, Romas. That's what, why couldn't I think of that? Roma tomatoes. They are doing very well this year. So I'm going to get this canopy tent set up and get this area cleaned up. Uh, so I can get a work area. Uh, don't really know the exact plan today, but hang out to the end of the video and you'll see what I've done. All right, trying to put this up by myself, not fun. And I broke it. So a hundred and something dollars down the tube. Yeah, but I guess it'll it'll work for now. So I'll figure out how to fix that if it's even any fixing it. So yeah, could have used a hand on this. <laughs> but I got her done. Uh, well, with damage. All right, and I'm just hanging out in the apartment with the puppy dogs. It's nice they got their own place now, you know. Waldo said, come on in for tea. They ain't got no tea. They don't have thumbs. How would they make tea? Oh, Waldo. Took that scrap tie back, put it where I could. That's an old shower curtain. Put tie back on this wall. Uh, the insulation won't be here till Thursday, so. Hey, this will help a little. You know, I'm better than throwing it out, you know. 
and I can already tell the difference in here. You know, that's all I had. I just stuck it up. That's an old piece of styrofoam coming come in the box with the air conditioner. Fit perfect inside the stud. Why not use it? Yeah, they're loving this, man. I mean, they're always in here. Uh, but they're starting to go out a little more. But, you know, it's so hot out there. You can't blame them. Uh, although he loves his bed. I haven't seen Lily on it yet. But uh, they'll eventually get on it. Why, why wouldn't they? Oh, well, though, you know how to use your bed. Yeah, they're wanting to go into the screened-in patio area, and it ain't got a door on it yet, so they're not going in there yet. He's my boy. He's been with me since day one moving to Arkansas, haven't you? Yeah, he's a good boy. A real good boy. You can tell they're not panning real heavy now like they were. They're doing it a little bit. That's, you know, it's not perfectly cool in here. Yeah, but they like it. A lot of good shade. Alright guys, I'm going to take a short break. Get back out there. Get that screened in porch area cleaned up real good. It's just so hot. There's nothing to be done outside right now. So I'm going to get that cleaned up. See what I can do inside. Alright. when I had the pine trees, the pine needles would just get on the porch. We don't have those pine trees there anymore, so, but it comes in handy. It'll really come in handy in here, so. All right, yeah, probably not doing a lot of building today. Uh, I'm focusing in on cleanup because it's been a struggle walking around all this stuff, and I want, I want to start working in here, so I don't want tools in the way. Uh, just gonna make it a safer work environment. So I'm gonna go out here, get get a lot of that picked up, and uh, we'll see what I do next. Don't know, man. All right, now you can kind of get a perspective of the size of this room, and I've got everything cleaned up, got everything off those rails. I uh, brought down an old table, put my tools and materials and things on. I can find them easier. Uh, I'm going to get this screen on, man. I am. But before I do that, uh, I've got to take these off and do a little work Do a little work up top here uh, to support that. Those were never intended to be permanent. They were just, a, you know, a, a little cleat to put that on to get them toenailed in. Uh, yeah, it's black screen, so it's going to help a lot shading. And I've got pecs right there. I've got all the fittings. I'll tell you what, that was a good deal, man. I got the tool, ton of the crimps that go on there, uh, a lot of brass fittings, tees, elbows. Uh, I couldn't have bought that. I don't remember what I paid, but it was a whole lot cheaper than I could have got local. You can't even hardly find this local. So I pretty much bought everything other than the lumber on Amazon for this build, and with the exception of the doors. You just save so much money that way, and it comes right to you. 
Uh, and today with gas gas prices, that's probably the best way to do it. Uh, these little squares here that have the dirt, I have got uh, screen. Uh, what do you call it? The landscape mesh to go down there, keep stuff from growing. I'm going to get some decorative rock. I'll probably build this up a little bit. I've got plans. I got stuff going there. You will see that when I reveal this thing. Uh, pretty much we're going to get the screen on, get a few more things done, and that's going to be the end of me filming this build. And it could be uh, a few weeks before you see anything else about it. And uh, then we're going to do a big reveal. But I've got everything ordered that's going to make this place look nice. It's already here. I've got some furniture. I've got, you know, you'll see. i got cool stuff coming. It's going to be a real nice place to relax and uh, enjoy an evening or a morning. And... Uh, that room in there them dogs are loving it so uh, I'm not gonna film too much more of the screen patio but I do got to start on the deck pretty soon it's only gonna get hotter uh, but before I do that start putting them boards on I'm gonna have to uh, stain them because I don't want to do that it's a whole lot easier to do it before you install them then if you get plus I got the metal roof underneath even though it won't be seen I don't want stain dripping on there and having big stain drips, uh, so it's much easier to do it. I've got this little tent that I just broke, but it still works. I can probably fix that where it's all right. I can lay my boards out and uh, stain them in there. So I'm going to start on that pretty soon. Uh, let me see what else I get done. I don't think I got enough clips for a video yet, but uh, it's it's really not a build video. But the cleanup's part of the process because I've got to be able to get in here and work freely. And so that's what I decided to do today. Yeah, it's, I'm tired of saying it's hot, but you know it's very hot right now. But working under the shade, and that thing helps. Uh, broken or not, it helps. And I don't think it'll withstand. I don't have it anchored down or anything. It's. I'm probably, when I'm putting the screen on, I'm probably going to move it with me so that I'm working under the shade. Uh, I wish I had a ask somebody for help help and I probably wouldn't have broke it and I lost the instructions but <laughs> then I seen they were on the bag which I never looked so I was kind of pushing real hard and that stuff's just cheap metal and it broke oh well all right guys I'll be back all right I could not wait I'm gonna start hanging the screen tight system my screen tight and what it is is it's tracks and it comes in eight foot sections i've got more than enough i've got enough extra to do other projects uh the screen splines into that and let me try to show you this is exactly one and a half inches same as the uh two by six and it's going to go obviously on the outside uh you screw those in there's a special cutting tool that i bought uh there is a video a guy did on uh, youtube if you're interested in the screen tight system i will try to find that and leave a link but uh, i'm not even going to try to do a how-to because well i've never done it for one i don't think he did either but he did a very detailed uh you know showing how it was done i'm not going to do that i might do one like that uh one window but uh very informative and i'll try to leave a link if you're interested in this and then it also comes with these caps once the screen is installed in there then you put these caps over it makes it very simple uh beats trying to do some redneck way of stapling it on there and then covering it with wood trim this is not cheap but i figured it would be the simplest way and from what i saw you know you're going to struggle with it a little bit but we're going to give it a try so I'm going to start laying this out. Yeah, I will film me. Uh, I'm going to start here in the front. I will start filming me putting up the track. Because having the screen up isn't going to hamper anything else I've got to do here. So might as well have it in without the bugs. You know, be working in here without the All bugs. Right, I am running my vertical stretch first. Let me show you how I cut these what I used to cut them with. Alright, 49 and 3 quarters is what I need. I'll just find 
minute. And what you need is these kind of cutters here. They have a flat bottom on one side that is red. You see the red side? And then the blade. Okay, and I'm cutting these from the back. Uh, you don't want to mess up this track. I'll, let me show you what happens when you cut it. All right. You want this blade part on top. Find your mark. Make sure you're straight. Cut. All right. Get the piece. Oh, it fell down and mixed with all them other ones. There it is. I think. That's not it. <laughs> See, I turn that camera on and all the shenanigans happen. That's it right there. Alright, when you do cut it, it's gonna kind of bend that on the end a little. So I'm just these are good and warm already. I'm just kind of bending them back out. Alright. Now let me take you over, show you how to hang them. Alright, so I'm running all my verticals first. That way I can take the 96 piece uh, inch pieces and go straight across. And it's not necessary to 45 minutes. You just put them on straight. So I'm going to get as close to that as I can without running into that path. Make sure it's kind of centered on the 2x4. And I'm going to get my drill. Then I'll get it adjusted. And I'm just using these little inch and a quarter deck screws. And we'll get it as close as I can. Go real quick with it. You want to make sure you keep centering it all the way down. It's going to want to pull a little bit. That's all right. It's got caps that go over it. Pretty simple so far. I haven't messed with the screen yet. We're going to try to get to that. do one of them see how it's wanting to pull away so when I put the next one in I'll just push it over not too difficult looks pretty good there what you got on the track you've got the spline uh, channel for this side and then also the spline channel for this other side here so which makes it pretty cool and then I'm going to show you something else here sometimes you're not always going to get a hole uh, down here at the very bottom so what I've been doing and that's important to have this tight so I've been drilling through it which is fine to do Especially there at the end, you want it uh, nice and tight. Okay. All right. I'll come back uh, when I do the horizontals, and we'll probably do uh, try to do one screen. Maybe hell, I might get go nuts like Daffy Duck, you know, and do them all. I don't know. And I'm gonna deal with this gap. Uh, from the inside I don't know I, I didn't even think about that we'll fix it if I want to get this screen on it's kind of good that I got that right now so we'll figure it out. all right I got all the uh, vertical tracks in position so now I'm gonna start laying down the uh, horizontal and we may put a screen or two on I know the video is getting a little long but I think a lot of people were waiting to see the screen go on I know I am so let me get those pieces uh, let me just let's see let's 
let's start here. Let me go just grab a piece here. So what this is going to do, now on the two end ones, I went all the way to the bottom, so, and all the way to the top. Now I didn't do that in the center, uh, so we can do it this way. So what we're going to have is this is going to go up here, like that. It's going to meet with that, like so. Alright, let me uh, get this thing screwed on up there. And We'll get busy. get on the bed don't you <laughs> this is convenient to have an air-conditioned place right next to the screen porch where I can get hot and then I can come on in here and sit and pet some some nice little puppy dogs yeah and they like it too I ain't seen Lily on the bed yet but I'll guarantee you once she starts getting on there yeah she's always gonna be on there you big old pork belly, really. You big old pork belly. Yeah, you're a big chunk. Look at this boy. He's loving life. <laughs> He's a good boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, if you're gonna do the screen tight system, this is all you get, the caps and the track. You gotta purchase the screen. Check the name of the screen out, man. Lazy dog, I like it. I got four 48 inch wide, 100 feet of the black screen. And then you're gonna get a sp uh, screen and spline tool. One has a like a grooved end on it. Now these are the kind of packages I can dig, man. I can dig them. And uh, one end's got a groove in it. Where is it? Yeah, it spreads out, I guess. That's what you put the spline in with, and then I guess you finish it off with that. And then I bought a big roll of spline, because you're going to have to replace this, you know, once in a while. So, got the big roll spline. Where do they come up with these words? Spline. Spline. Say that about ten times. Spline. 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 And a pair of scissors to cut the screen. Oh, and some uh, hot and spicy pork rinds. Yeah, that's right. I've been munching on them, letting my mouth get on fire. Alright, I'm going to cut some piece of screen. I'm going to start in that corner because it has the most shade and we'll get busy. All right, guys, let's get this thing up here where you might be able to see what I'm doing. Now, I've never done it before, so we're doing this for the first time together. All right. Let me do this while I'm not in the way. And what I did is I cut a piece a few inches on each side extra and top and bottom. We're going with this inside track. I've cut off a couple inch pieces 
and stuck them in the ends to hold the screen. Uh, you're going to take those out later. And uh, let's see. The way he did this, that I was watching, now you're going to want to leave extra here because you're going to have to fill that back in. <clears throat> this will start. You know, with this end here. Yeah. I don't think this is going to be too difficult. And then you hold it out like this. Roll it in there. Well, I'm doing a lot easier than that dude did it. Up. Roll that dude in there. All right, to keep it going. I'm gonna cut that piece off. All right. Sorry if I'm getting in your way. I guess you always start at the top. It would make sense to me. Okay. Piece of spline. <laughs> I don't know why that word just gets to me. Spline. Get my scissors. And again, I'm going to go a little extra. Cut my spline. I don't mind if I spline. Okay. Like I said, I ain't no expert. Never done it before. So, keep this taut. That's another funny word. Taut. Can y'all even see me? Alright, let's bring y'all up here. Sorry, my camera works. Probably not the best. Alright. We got this piece. Pull that screen down a little, and then I'm going to pinch it right there. Get my groove in. It's tightening up, that's for sure. Alright, pull this down. Hold my thumb on it. Just finish this today. This way, downward. Take my thumb, hold it. I see a big bump here. The wind's ball. Well, we'll get that, I think, when uh, the bottom. Yeah, that'll come out with the bottom. Alright, so we're still tight there. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to slip off and put this tool through the screen. Get out of here 
the grill. Oh, the tools are uh, incorrigible, man. Gotta waste wine. I am not right in the head. Alright, now I gotta do the bottom. I gotta get my knee pad. Look at these footprints. Can you see them? That's from when I cut the screen. Alright, we're baggy there. We're tight there. We're tight there. So hopefully pulling this down is gonna tighten everything. I hope. I don't want to have to do it over. Alright. Okay, I was able to get the bottom in without damaging it. Uh, it's... I, I like it a little tighter than that. I'm going to do the rest of them. I'll probably get much better as each one I go. And then I may come back and redo this one. If not, you know, it's good. I don't see any wrinkles or anything in it. Uh, it's pretty cool, man. So I'm going to go rest for a while. Uh, get this video edited, put it out, and come back out a little uh, later on when it's cooling down. And I'll probably knock the rest of these front ones out. Alright guys, I'm a mess. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a unlike, I don't care. Uh, I'm just no expert on nothing, just showing you what I'm doing. Uh, documenting my build. Uh, I'm happy to have y'all subscribers. We just hit 1 million views today. So I appreciate all the uh, support. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy trails.